and gentlemen, welcome back to Tech Showdown. My name is Kevin. This is my co-host, Teddy. I'm sorry, guys, if there's a bit of noise around. There's just a lot going on here at the moment. However, I still have a very, very good video for you today. And it's going to be my full review of the Ducky Shine 5. So I was quite excited for this. I've tested a bunch of Ducky products by now. And um, I remember doing the Shine 4 keyboard I was very fond of. So I was quite excited to see what they would be doing with the Ducky Shine 5. So let's start out with the looks then. I have the lighting off so you guys can see. So when I first got my hands on this guy, I thought, wow, look at that. It's like uh, a brushed aluminium. I thought it'd be sort of like mixing it uh, with the Ducky Legend, which of course had its, you know, metal finish on top. But no, this is plastic. So although it looks quite nice, it is plastic fantastic, which isn't the end of the world. Um, they're obviously doing that to probably save a little bit of money, but um, yeah, that I would have liked it if I was really wanting to be greedy, uh, to be metal, kind of like the Ducky Legend. Now, it does come with an optional spacebar if you don't like this more standard uh, looking one. And if we flip round to the back, we see that it's a pretty similar fare to what we've seen on the uh, Ducky Shine 4. And in general, this is just a pretty much the, the exact same in terms of design to the Shine 4. I don't really see anything too different design-wise. It all looks um, very similar to what I've seen before, aside from the sort of plastic uh, brushed aluminium looking top. But it all seems about the same. It's coming with a similar fare with the uh, gold-plated USB connection, which I always think is a good idea. But design-wise, I would say it's pretty much uh, exactly the same as what you would get on a Ducky Shine 4. Which brings us to the keys. So, as always, Ducky's gone with Cherry MX keys, which are my favorite, what I consider the best. Um, there's just nothing out there that really compares that closely to a Cherry MX key switch. However, uh, at launch right now in New Zealand anyways, it's coming with three different switch uh, types you can pick from. There's the Cherry MX Red and Cherry MX Black, which are linear switches. And then you get the brown, which is what I was using on it, which is your tactile switch. And there's also going to be the blues, which will be coming, and the new Nature White key switch, which is kind of a mix, I believe, of a red and a black. So that should be quite interesting going down the road. Um, but yeah, using it with the brown switch was absolutely fantastic. Now these use an ABS double shot keycap, and it's the first Ducky model I'm aware of to uh, be actually using it. So this is basically two pieces of plastic molded together for the uh, uh, keycaps, and of course being ABS is really good. It just gives them such a nice feel, these should be super, super durable, that's for sure. And uh, they just feel really, really great to type on. The layout is just standard for Ducky. Everything where the, it would be, say, on the Shine 4, you get um, pretty standard everywhere except on the top right where you get your calculator and some audio controls. And it's just um, really fantastic to use. You can adjust the height if you don't want it up too high. You just take these off on the back, um, the extensions on the stand, but it... I left them on, it just felt great to me. Duckies just have such a nice feel to type on. That's that's the only way I can put it. They just feel so, so nice to type on. Now, let's get to the lighting then. So that's sort of like the main affair with the Shine 4. And we'll turn it on here. Here we go. So this is a fully RGB. And if it's flickering on the camera, I'm sorry. <laughs> For some reason, my camera always does that. But I promise you, it doesn't flicker in real life. So yeah, they use a two double layer PCB. Yes, I said that correctly. So two double layer PCBs. And that's to uh, improve the backlighting and it, and it shows. The backlighting on this looks absolutely fantastic. It looks so good. Now the RGB lighting goes insanely bright. Probably the brightest I've ever seen out of an RGB keyboard. It's just crazy. And the color reproduction is absolutely fantastic. So I really, really like the lighting on it. It looks really good. I mean, they've gone with this black because it's going to be color neutral, obviously, so you match the lighting with whatever you want in your rig. And, of course, they're coming with a bunch of different uh, lighting modes. So there's the pretty standard 100% backlighting. Standard there. Breathing mode, which I'm sure you know what that does by now. 
color cycling mode, which will just uh, flick through all the different um, colors that you have. Wave mode, which when you hit a key, it'll sort of go out. Snake marquee mode, which I've only seen on Ducky keyboards. I don't think I've ever seen another company have a snake marquee mode. It's not really that practical, but you know, it's, it's a bit of bluff. Um, raindrop mode, which is always quite cool. Uh, standard reactive mode, and there's also reactive mode advanced, which goes to a random color whenever you type. So that's all quite cool, and the lighting on this is some of the best I have ever seen on an RGB keyboard. So if you want an absolutely, you know, if lighting is one of your main priorities when buying a mechanical keyboard, then uh, yeah, this should be pretty high on your list now because the lighting on it is absolutely fantastic. Now as far as other features go, it's got a ARM M3 microcontroller because of course there's no software being that it's ducky and they're just allergic to software, which as always I say is a blessing and a curse. Good that you don't have software on your computer that's complicated like Corsairs and needs a million updates like Razors. And, um, but, but it's a curse because it means you pretty much have to use the ducky manual, this one right here, to, you know, make any changes. And boy, that is big. There's a lot of stuff to read through, of course, because there's so much customization on this keyboard. It also features USB in-key rollover. Had no problems there at all. It was perfect. 1000 hertz uh, report rate, pretty standard, and USB repeat acceleration, which is pretty standard also. Which brings us now to the conclusion of the Ducky Shine 5 and what I really think of it. So, honestly, uh, even though I'm quite a big fan of Ducky because they generally make very good products, I'm generally quite impressed by them. It's not that I'm biased in any way, it's just generally they've always impressed me in the past. But honestly, this time, Ducky, I was a little bit disappointed. Mainly because there's not really that much difference between this and the Shine 4, aside from, you know, the um, keycaps, the uh, PCB and also being RGB. So design-wise, it's pretty much exactly the same. At the same time though, I understand why Ducky has done this. If you have a good recipe for a good keyboard, don't go and screw it up by trying to change too much. If you've got a good formula and it's working, then don't go and ruin it. And that's what I like, that they haven't ruined it, but I would have still liked just a little bit more, uh, if that makes sense. So, yeah, th that's kind of the best way I can put it. Now, if you have a Shine 4 already, then I wouldn't, I say, you know, there's no point upgrading, unless you're really, really after the RGB lighting, because the Shine 4 uh, had their, you know, dual color uh, lighting in it. Then maybe you could consider it, otherwise, probably not. Um, if your Shine keyboard goes further back than that, say 3 or uh, whatever, then maybe you could warrant an upgrade, but probably still it's not that big of a change unless, again, you really want the lighting to go for it. However, if you don't own a Ducky keyboard or you're looking to get a mechanical keyboard, then this is a great one. Uh, it's absolutely fantastic, and I would highly recommend it to anyone, especially if you're after really, really great lighting, then I would uh, go for this one. Otherwise, if you're still wanting a ducky keyboard, um, but you don't really care about RGB lighting, then look at something like the Ducky Shine Zero, for example, would do very well there. And that's the best way I can round out this review. Now I thank you all for watching this video, please subscribe to Tech Showdown if you haven't already and like the video, and as always I'll see you guys next time.